Hi kiddos, how's it going? Today we have another lab for you that will be for our weather and climate unit. A couple things I want to go over before we start today's lab. There are several different instruments scientists use for uh, measuring the weather. One of those tools is called an anemometer. An anemometer is used to measure wind speed and an anemometer um, will measure in rotations per minute or also known as RPM. Today we are going to create our own anemometer and we are going to find the RPM three different times and three trials and then we'll find the average by adding them all up and dividing by three. I did go ahead and look up today's wind speed which is 16 miles per hour. So it's good, um, pretty slow wind speed for today. So we'll be able to count the rotations that our anemometer makes pretty easily. I want to show you first the design I'm going to model my anemometer after. I'm going to be making a four cup anemometer that looks like this. The first thing I'm going to do to create that is I'm going to snip off the bendy part of my straw because we don't want it to bend on us. So I need four straws and I'm going to cut off the bendy parts of those straws like so. I am going to put the straws together to make them just a little bit longer by squeezing one inside the other. Okay, and now we have two longer straws. We do want them to be about the same height and my blue one's just a little bit taller about the same perfect all right now i am going to stick a sewing needle a little pin through the center of my straw like so and then i will uh, also poke it through the center of my other straw being careful not to poke my fingers Finally, that pen will then go into the top of an eraser, like so. And there you have it. Now we just need to attach our cups, and I'm going to do that by stapling them. So this one will go right here, and this can be the tricky part, is to try to hold it and staple it all at once. There we go. Oh, and you can see I actually did not staple it right because it is this way instead of this way. So I actually have to undo it and try again. Sometimes that happens. Wasn't being careful enough. Try to remove that staple. Oops. There we go. All right. Take again. Okay, we'll try to get it right. It's just that you have to try to keep it standing up. It's very difficult to do this with one hand. And hopefully that one worked. Yep. And that's the way I want it. Taking another cup, and the butt needs to be, yeah, there we go. Make sure that's right with my design. Mm -hmm. And staple that. And staple this one. And last but not least, I will staple my fourth one. And make sure they're all how I want them to be. Some of them are a little bit slanted, but they should still work out. 
And then as you can see, if I blow on it, they will spin very nicely for me. All right, next I'm going to take it outside and we will count the rotations per minute. Hi kiddos. All right, we're on part two of our anemometer lab. I had the same anemometer from just a second ago, just this time we're outside. And I wanted to let you know, I forgot to tell you in the other video, but I put a little X on the bottom of one so I can see real easy when it rotates and I can count the number of rotations it has. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer to be 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna let it up and I'm gonna count how many times I see that X go all the way around. All right, and I'm gonna push you over so you can kind of see a little bit and you'll wait for the timer. One, two, I live close to the ratio checks. All right, that's seven. We're gonna record that number of turns was seven in our trial one. All right, let's do trial two. And reset our timers. And go. All right, we got six, our second try. And trial number three. Now remember, the miles per hour of wind today is only 16, so it's not super windy today, like some days. And we'll go ahead and start our timer last round. Got one, two, three. All right, that one was only three. That one we didn't have a lot of motion. All right, now what you have to do is you have to take our data, which was seven, six, and three, and you have to add them all together and divide by three to find our average rotations per minute today on this 16 mile per hour windy day. Okay, till next time, guys.